conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f up. What's big in the world of MMA that we need to get into for a few minutes before we're joined by the one and only Alexander Rakic? Uh, well, I mean, I, I think this is kind of interesting. Two different people calling out Dustin Poirier. Poor old Dustin. He just got choked out last week. He just had his hopes and dreams shattered. And now he's getting called out all over the place. And, and, and Colby Covington being very nasty about it. Tell me more. Yeah, so uh, uh, Colby Covington, you know, he really did. He, he laid it on thick. Uh, you know, he says, you know, you look at this bully that fought last night, Dustin Sorier. Uh, Sorier. <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Louisiana Swamp Trash. Uh, he said a lot of things, too, in the media. Now he's saying that he might come up to 170 pounds. He wants to come fight in a real man's weight class. So this is another professional fight. These are different types of fights, man. This isn't about the rankings. This is about personal grudges and being held accountable for your actions. You said it's on site when you see me in the media, this and that. Who's talking this big game like he's a street fighter? He's some badass fighter. Uh, stop cutting all the weight, Dustin. Come up to a real man's weight class, mm. welterweight, and let's do this, man. Hold on. Did, did, did Dustin Poirier say to the media it's on site when I see Colby Covington? Is that I, true? I mean, I don't remember that quote. I will fact check that right now. But yeah. I mean, Take a look at that because I just don't see that happening. I mean, maybe I'm wrong because they were, well, Colby used to be with American Top Team, so they know each other. And when, when you know each other and you get that face to face time stuff and you were friends at one point and all the rest of it, just like Colby and Masvidal seem to have a good hobby of or habits of losing some of his close friends. But when you're got that personal relationship with someone, it can get nastier. If they didn't know one another, I doubt they would say things like it's on site when I see it, but it just doesn't sound like the Dustin Poirier that we all know brian mckay so during a recent interview with the schmo uh he said uh dustin said he said when i see colby it's on site he did say that hey hey fair enough if he said that you know what i mean i mean they're big words i mean listen unless they're coming from a dildo like dennis do you know what i mean who says shit like that who won't do anything ever uh, but generally when someone like dustin poirier says that it's on site i mean unless they're both in on the joke they're pretty serious words if someone said that to me and then i was like i heard they were going to be somewhere i'd expect some shit to go down yeah it's like yo i better see you before you see me you know what i mean because like you're just going to attack right like that's what the the word means right like i'll come up from behind and punch you in the back of the head i don't really care you that's know? called jumping somebody that's called sucker punching someone that's called going to prison for violent assault with a weapon harrington i don't know if you did it's an outside does not mean you sneak up behind them with a commando knife slash their throat piss on their grave and tell the mother to go fuck themselves on site means when i see you we're going to get into it and we're probably going to fight so i'm going to call you on your bullshit doesn't you mean commando tactics no what you you give the guy a warning. You don't just try to bum rush him if it's on site. I I thought I will not bum him. anyone in any way, shape, or form. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you not hear what I said before? I proposed to Rebecca. Okay, I'm a straight heterosexual man. I am not bumming anyone. No. Um, listen, That's the not thing what that means in America. Mark. Oh, <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know, I um, know. That is surprising for Dustin now. So maybe. I mean, I mean, to be honest, if Dustin did say that, which according to Brian and the Schmo, and I'm sure the internet, he did. You can't blame Colby for being kind of pissed off, I reckon. But so, Poirier has another person that he's beefing with or that uh, wants to fight him in January, correct? Give us the lowdown on Nate Diaz. Yeah, so uh, an MMA reporter just posted a, a picture of Dustin and Nate Diaz squaring off. Remember, they were supposed to fight, you know, a two back in 2019, I think it was, 2018, 2019. Uh, and he just posted the caption, the one that got away, right? Uh, so Nate he posted Diaz, that, Dustin? Uh, no, just an MMA reporter. I will look it up right now. Uh, but the uh, Nate Diaz just reposted it and said, you know, this is it. Like, now or never, right? I'm down to mm -hmm. have this fight. Uh, you know, the, the, the one that got away, if you will. Um, I'll fight DP in January. Don't be a scared little bitch this time. Now or never. And it's uh, mm. Sand, uh, Sham, mm, Sand Huma MMA. Yeah, yeah, Sandu MMA. MMA. Um, okay, all right. Well, that's interesting, and that goes completely against a video I did on my YouTube channel yesterday because I did a video predicting that Nate's last fight, because by all accounts, right, from what we're hearing, is the last fight on his contract. He wants to fight it out and do his own thing. That's his prerogative. I thought, you know, well, I mean, it's not what. The UFC want to do just now, but I thought UFC would have pushed for a fight with Conor McGregor. Nate Diaz is saying he wants to fight Dustin Poirier in January. 
probably because he doesn't want to wait around that long for Connor, because Connor's probably not coming back to at least July, August, if not later. Uh, so Poirier, I mean, hey, sign me up, sign me up. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to see that fight as an MMA fan? I think for Dustin Poirier, huge fight for Nate Diaz, of course, great fight as well, and 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 a tough fight. You got to respect Diaz, you know what I mean? He's been talking. Uh, not just talking, fighting tough guys. I mean, last time out against Leon Edwards, one of the best welterweights on the planet. And now he's calling out fucking um, uh, Dustin Poirier, you know? Would that be at 170 or 155? So, I mean, I, I think from what Poirier is saying is that he wants to go up to 170, right? Oh. So the, the he's he's openly flirting with that, talking about that, that being in the future for him. So that fight would, I mean, it would make sense for both men to fight at 170. Well, it would, it would. I'm not sure that's what Dustin needs to do, though. I mean, going up to, I talked about this as well because somebody was asking, you know, about Dustin going up to 170. And I'm like, I, just because he lost the title fight to Charles Oliveira doesn't mean he needs to change everything. And when I say change everything, I mean, go up to a new weight class, which is 15 pounds heavier. It's a big jump. It's not like in boxing. I mean, let's remember, other than Khabib and bloody uh, Oliveira, he, he's, he's pretty much passed the test with flying colors what since the last time connor beat him was it or, or no i'm thinking of max holloway uh maybe i think michael, michael johnson i was gonna say michael johnson yeah you know what i mean so he's doing pretty good he's beating pettis gagey alvarez all these top dogs you know and just because you lose to Oliveira doesn't mean you gotta go up to 170 but hey fuck it maybe he wants to finish his career off the next few years without killing himself because i'm telling you the fighting part of it kind of is fun even the training side of it is kind of fun like you know you're you're still doing training and stuff it, it's fun it's enjoyable you get out there as long as you don't get your fucking ass kicked every day you know what i mean which when you get to a certain point that doesn't happen and poi is one of the best in the world and you spar with the right sparring partners what are you giggling at no, I'm just thinking maybe, maybe, maybe one day I'll get to the point where I don't leave training every day just yeah. hurting really bad. Yeah, yeah. No, but you know, but one of the hardest parts in training camp is getting down for me to 185, for Dustin to 155. So he's probably like, I don't know, if he's saying 170, I don't think he'd have designs on being champ at 170, but some fun fights, some big earners, you know, some situations where he hasn't got to fucking kill himself and he can just... Focus on the fun side of it and the martial arts side of it. Yeah, why not? That sounds great to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looking for something special for your loved one this year? Well, jamesallen.com, the fastest growing online retailer of engagement rings and diamond jewelry. They allow customers to easily design and order engagement rings and other fine jewelry entirely online. They use the advanced technology, including augmented reality ring try-on app. 